Hi, today we're going to talk about how to write a scientific explanation. So a scientific explanation has three components to it. It has a claim, it has evidence, and it has a reasoning. So a scientific uh, explanation should make a claim about a problem or a question, provide evidence for um, the claim, and provide a reasoning that links the evidence to the claim. Specifically, what is uh, what are the definitions for these um, three particular components? Well, a claim is a statement that expresses the answer or conclusion to a question or a problem. Um, a statement ultimately or a claim ultimately answers the question. Evidence is scientific data that supports the claim that must be appropriate and sufficient. So evidence can come from an investigation such as a controlled experiment, like lab data that we collect in class. It can come from observations that you have made. It can come from reading material. Um, it can be um, data from other labs that have been done um, before and you've, you've kind of pulled that data from internet resources. So um, those are different um, pieces of, of evidence and where you can get different pieces of evidence. Uh, what does it mean that evidence needs to be appropriate? That means it needs to be scientifically relevant. So if you're talking about um, mass, you're going to be um, talking about, you know, you know, properties or a science relating to mass, you're not going to be talking about um, atomic structure because mass and atomic structure, while they are linked, it might not make any, it might not make sense. Or you won't be talking about cell structures related to mass because mass and cell structures are two different things. So um, if it's appropriate, it needs to be scientifically relevant. For sufficient, that means that an, there is enough data in your scientific explanation to uh, support the claim. So usually there's about three pieces of evidence. There could be more, um, there could be less, but uh, for the most part, three pieces of evidence should be sufficient enough. And last but not least, reasoning is a justification that shows why the data counts as evidence to support the claim and includes appropriate scientific principles. So your reasoning should explain why the particular piece of evidence was chosen and how that particular piece of evidence supports the claim. So let's take a look at an example. So the question is, are fat and soap different substances? Here's an example of a scientific explanation. So fat and soap are different substances. Fat is off-white and soap is milky white. Uh, fat is soft and squishy. Soap is hard. Fat is soluble in oil, but soap is not soluble. Um, soap is soluble in water, but fat is not. Fat has a melting point of 47 degrees centigrade, and soap has a melting point above 100 degrees centigrade. Fat has, dense, has a density of 0.92 grams per uh, centimeter cubed, and soap has a density of 0.84 grams per centimeter cubed. These are all properties, and because fat and soap have different properties, I know that they are different. So highlighted in red is the claim that answers the question. So fat and soap are different substances. That's the answer to that particular question. If we go on further, you can take a look at the different pieces of evidence. Now this person has um, five different pieces of evidence, so they have over the, so they um, do have sufficient evidence. And if you notice that all of the evidence is appropriate, it all relates back to um, answering that question, um, fat, are fat and soap different substances? And then last but not least, we have our reasoning. Um, these are all properties. Uh, because fat and soap have different properties, I know that they are different. So um, you, this person is explaining why they use that particular, those particular pieces of evidence because they are properties and the way to distinguish between two substances is looking at their properties. So he's uh, provided evidence and his reasoning for that there. So a scientific explanation, um, a good scientific explanation will use precise and accurate scientific language. So if we uh, look back at our example, uh, we see that we're using precise and accurate scientific language. So we're talking about different substances. We're using specific data, um, grams per centimeters cubed. We're looking at melting points. So that's all um, 
precise and accurate scientific language, and it needs to be written clearly so that anyone interested in the explanation can understand it. So um, this explanation uh, was written clearly, and you can understand um, at the end of this that fat and soap are in fact different substances and why. Um, I hope this helped uh, you um, figure out how to write a scientific explanation, and we'll be practicing this more throughout the year.